We travel to Northern California to meet an expert, some say guru, on small and mid-sized businesses. Michael Gerber has written seven books on the e-myth and has coached 30,000 business owners on how to build a world-class business. Well, thanks for having us up here, Michael. I guess we'll start with, what is the e-myth? E-myth is the entrepreneurial myth. And essentially it says that people who go into business are not the entrepreneurs that everybody believes them to be, but what I've come to know as technicians suffering from an entrepreneurial seizure. So the doctor opens up a medical practice, the attorney a legal practice, the software guy a software business, the hardware guy a hardware business, each of them believing because they know how to do the work, the software, the, the medicine, the law. They know how to build a business that does that work. And it's just completely not true. What could they do differently? Well, you'd go to work, as the e-myth says, on your business as opposed to in your business, like Ray Kroc did at McDonald's. He built the first prototype, and then he stood outside of it, not inside of it, and watched the little sucker work. When it didn't work, he knew that it was a problem with the system, not with the person. So he went to work, like Deming would say, on the system, not on the person. The person's never the problem. The system is. The technician doesn't know that. Do you understand? And that's what the e-myth is all about. Go to work on it, not in it. To build the foolproof system that any ordinary person can produce extraordinary results over and over and over again and continually improve it. Continually. Innovation, quantification, and orchestration. It's the ball game. So I'm saying to every single person who's listening in, you get the first one right. You get your sales system right when you're small. You get your um, lead generation system right when you're small. You get your lead conversion system right when you're small, knowing that you're going to be big. And that because you're going to be big, it's absolutely critical that you've gotten it right so that you can replicate it tens of thousands of times. Can you... And give us sort of a brief example of the seven disciplines that are in your book. Well, um, in my latest book, E-Myth Mastery, I talk about the seven essential disciplines of a world-class company. And they're really entrepreneurial disciplines and leadership disciplines. Um, and they come in the form of skills. Um, the first of those is the discipline of the enterprise leader. The second is the discipline of the marketing leader. The third is the discipline of the financial leader. The fourth is the discipline of the management leader. And then there's lead generation, lead conversion, and client fulfillment. And each of those are um, a position of leadership. That someone needs to focus his or her attention on the vision of the enterprise, on the marketing of the enterprise, on the management of the enterprise, on the money of the enterprise. And the core business development system in any company, in every company, sitting here, no matter what kind of company it is, is lead generation, lead conversion, client fulfillment. How many people do you attract to your door? How do you convert a larger and larger percentage of those people to become customers? And how do you convert the largest percentage of those customers to become clients? And the ball game of that is mindset. It's truly the paradigm through which you approach the building of the systems through which leadership and entrepreneurship becomes a reality every single day in the company. I know you've got a new book you're working on. What journey are you going to take us on this time? The name of the book is Awakening the Entrepreneur Within, A Visit to the Dreaming Room. And so I'm, I'm going down deep into the whole question of entrepreneurial personalities. And if a business owner is really three personalities, I call the entrepreneur, the manager, and the technician. And each of those has a different point of view. The entrepreneur is the visionary, the manager is the enabler, the technician is the producer. Then also the entrepreneur has four different dimensions or personalities within him or her. And I call those the dreamer, the thinker, the storyteller or performer, and the leader. So in every entrepreneur, there's the dreamer, the thinker, the storyteller, and the leader. And that's a hierarchy. The dreamer is at the heart of it. And that's where the heart is. The thinker is the dreamer's greatest ally. Because he or she assists the dreamer 
in taking that dream and forming a structure around it. Without a structure or a logic for it that is compelling, then the dream dies a, a, a natural death. But with a structure, that a logic, you might say, that in fact defends or supports the dream for the mind, which has to be engaged, because I'm going to go out and tell this story. The storyteller is going to depend upon a dream that's bigger than life, but a logic that supports that dream in order to tell a story that's going to convince the people with the money that they're going to invest in it. There has to be a leader in place that's going to take that dream that now has a logic, that now tells a story, and manifest it in reality. So these four component parts of the entrepreneur are absolutely critical.